Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I would like to show you in a couple of minutes how you can install and configure your personal profile and blog website using Hugo and Utop Actions. The process is fairly simple and you get a free profile website at the end, which is always nice. We will start with the configuration of a GitHub account, continue with setting up the website and pushing it to GitHub pages. For the GitHub account, we need to go to github.com, click on the right side on sign up, Enter our email address, click continue, create a secure password, create username, let's put it like the email address, in case we want to receive product updates and announcements via email, we can click yes, in, the, in our case I will click no, let's verify the account. And we click create account. Let's go to our email address. And what interests are you into? Let's put security, let's put automation, CICD, pipelines, and collaborative coding. Click continue. Now we need to choose a plan. We have the two possibilities. We have the continue for free or the GitHub teacher benefits. Uh, in my case, I will do it for free. and we are logged in. We have received the first window and we can create our first repository and start configuring our Hugo website. After we have created our repository, we will go and clone it to our local machine using Git. Copy the text file and clone to our local machine. We will change the directory to our website And as a next step, we will configure the default Hugo website and initiate the Git repository. In order to have a website, we need to have the also a theme applied to it. So as I mentioned, I've taken the Toha theme, which uh, I played with. And uh, afterwards, we, have, we can test locally how the server looks like and how our website looks like using hugo server minus t toha minus v you can reach the server on localhost 1313 control click and we will get our website As a next step, we will start configuring the, our website. In the link below, I have attached the documentation for the Toha team, where you can find the description and also the text which can be pasted here. Two main things would be to replace the base URL and the GitHub, GitHub repo using our own repository and our own link. And for this, I will replace the Toha with trifailgrow.github.io and the GitHub repo using the repo website. Let's personalize it a little bit as the title and change it to our own. Save the document and let's test the website to see how it looks like. After we have configured the config YAML, we will make some additional configurations and creating a folder called and for English, we will create within the folder a file called author.yaml. And in this file, we will place the text also found in the documentation below. And we will personalize with it our website a little bit more. Adding the name, adding a nickname, maybe changing the greeting if you would like. I, I let it as default. And the image doesn't interest us. As you can see, you can modify also the contact info but uh, this will suffice for now. As the next step, we will create a .github folder where we will place our workflow, which will be used by GH Pages. Within the GitHub folder, we will create a folder called Workflows. And within that folder, we will create a file, which will be used by GH Pages, called 
deploysite.yaml. We will paste the text from the links below. I've added all the documentation which you would require. And what does this do? This will be used by GH Pages in order to automate the workflow and um, start the installation of the Hugo, build the website and publish it. After we have made all the changes, we will add and commit everything to our Git and then we'll push to the main branch. Yes, uh, it seems that uh, the configuration from the Git account were not done. No problem. We will do it right now. We need to specify the email and the name of the user, which will make the push. And we'll try to push again. Yes, we need to sign in with the browser. As we are already signed in within the browser, the authentication will take place automatically. And we see that we have some files and folders pushed, but not exactly what we uh, need because we need a little bit more files there. So I'm trying to see why exactly do we have only part of the files included in the try fail grow that github.io folder we will create with the help of the git checkout minus b gh pages an additional branch and we will push it to the main branch let's check it out on the website so we have the gh pages as well We'll move the branch to the main branch. So the problem is that we are not on the root folder. Therefore, we need to go up a little bit and add all the files and commit them again to the repository. And then push it to the website. Let's check the GitHub part. Yes, it looks a little bit better. And the actions in the tab actions, we can see the adding files and the page build and deployment, which automatically start after using the workflow which we defined in the previous step. Let's wait for them to finish and then check on our website. Within the pages we have the build which is one task and from the build task there are two additional ones with reporting and deploying. Uh, with the deploying status with green then we will have our website deployed using GH pages as you can see it's happening right now and the website can be accessed using the link below. In the branch GH pages, we see that we have our index.html file and we have our website created using the branch that we have. In order for this to work, it requires to change the branch to GH pages because our website, as we have seen in the previous step, is located on the GH pages website, not on the main. The main is used for building the website on the GH pages branch. Our actions will start automatically each time we make a change. We wait for the pages of build and deployment to be finished. And then we will check on our website. Here we go. We have a fully functional website configured as, our, as we require. Looks pretty good. And now the customization can start. If we check this locally on our machine, let's have a look like there. We can see that the site, we can access it locally using localhost 1313, or we can have it via GitHub pages published on our name.github.io GitHub page. Thank you very much for watching. In case you have any questions, please let me know in the commentary section below. Wish you a pleasant day ahead, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.